What's up? Welcome back to the Savage King Show. I'm, it's going to be short politics, so you know, if you guys don't want to listen to politics, you know how to skip it. It's interesting because um, I see a lot of people on the internet saying that they're bringing back the draft because the House voted a bill and passed the bill. Um, but I don't think people read the, the, fine line, the fine lines. Like if you are a male in the USA, I had to do it myself when I was that age. Long time ago, when you turn 18, you have to fill out something called selective service, right? And that's kind of the same thing where it's paperwork. So just, so just in case you have to, they had to initiate an emergency draft, your paperwork will be filed. This time, what they did was cancel that process so they do it automatically. So you don't even have to, because you know, when you do selective service, you get this shit in the mail. I remember when I got mine years ago, I was like, what the fuck is this shit? And the first thing I thought was draft, like when I was reading the fine print. And, 18, I mean, we had internet, but it wasn't like it was now. So I remember searching for it in the net, but it's not like now. And now you just have a lot more shit, right? Uh, in terms of like re- resources to, to look things up. But it's, that's what it is. It's not really... Now, I'm not going to be one of those guys. Right? You have one of these guys who would tell you, who kind of worship the establishment and trust and tell you trust the establishment. Is that a good thing that they're reforming selective service and making it, are you, are you kind of... I guess you could say your paperwork gets filed immediately and more efficiently. No, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing because the last two years we haven't even met the quota. I'm, the U.S. military hasn't even met the quota for recruitment, and I don't expect that to get any better. And America, I would say since at least the Obama years, has kind of seemed, since, since Obama, right, that year, 2000, like, let's say since 2000. Eight to about sixteen. So, so about the last, let's say it's two thousand eight. So let's say the last sixteen years, has seen a little bit less gun holder jump to war. I know Obama did Libya, but Libya was in some joint adventure with the coalition of the willing, some crap like that, right? So you you got that one, but I mean, look afterwards, Trump, Iran, we didn't go to war with them, right? Um, could have. So. In a sense, to me, I, I look at it as, oh, well, we're not, we're not doing that war stuff because we are um, cautious about going to war, in that sense. And because of that caution, I look at it more like, I don't think we're going to war anytime soon, but people should be cautious and people should be paying attention to foreign policy more. And people should kind of get active when it comes to that because when we're just starting wars and occupying countries and... And honestly, when, when we're running a, a very inefficient operation and you know, we have a, what is it? We have a proxy war with Russia and Ukraine that we're basically losing. Ukraine is about to lose, right? And China is getting stronger. And the Middle East is kind of like a friend enemy and shit. Saudi Arabia is our friend sometimes. And then as an enemy, never, not really an enemy, but friend enemy. When you look at all those things, you start to say, damn, if we had war, what would happen? We're the, we're the strongest military for sure, but we don't really got as much soldiers as we used to have, right? So it makes sense that just in case, let's make that more efficient. Now, I'm not going to lie, the politician who says, I'm going to bring back the draft, I mean, that's, that's like suicide for the, for the military career, you know? So it'll probably be some kind of emergency situation, which is probably even worse. And I just feel that people just need to pay attention to politics a little bit more, um, and, you know, because a lot of people in the channel are spiritual, you guys need to pay attention to politics more than anything else. Like, it doesn't hurt, you know, because, you know, I see people on YouTube say, oh, yeah, bring back a draft. And I looked it up. I was like, ah, they kind of are, but not anytime soon, but you should be cautious for sure. And, and because people jump the gun, right, and because of that, because people jump the gun, they give the people who are paid opposition, the people who deny everything, right, there are those out there. Like, I'm not going to want people who say, well, they're spreading misinformation. They're not bringing back the draft. Technically, they're not, but it's not a good sign. For sure. And, you know, that's why, like Buddha said, there's a right, there's a left, and there's usually the truth in between. So, draft not coming back, but you guys need to start paying attention to foreign policy because America has been the number one state that, that occupies other countries. We talk about Ukraine shit. We're in Syria. We got 800 bases around the world. We talk about immigrants coming over across the border. How you think they're coming across? It's our foreign policy. Our coups, right? And like Honduras. Attempted coups in Venezuela. 
destabilizing and sending hitmen out to Argentina and Chile. Like, what do you think? Of course, motherfuckers gonna come up here and, and we, we, de- we destabilize economies. So instead of we can blame immigrants, you guys need to pay attention more to foreign policy. Cyrus King, until next time, peace.